use it. Our next speaker is from the University of Nottingham, and he will be speaking for our humanity, and his name is John Lim. Friday night, Manchester Piccadilly Station. All around me, people are rushing. People are rushing to buy a Starbucks latte for three pounds. The steam hisses. People are rushing to buy a Sainsbury meal deal. Ching! The tail rings. People are rushing to catch their train. Yet another train departs. Yet in the midst of all this busyness, I see an elderly man seated near the entrance. He's wearing a yellow vest, and in his hand are two copies of the big issue, so by the homeless or those in vulnerable housing for £2.50. Whenever he senses someone walking past, he will raise his hand in hope. Yet the hopelessness of it all strikes me because no one seems to see him. It is as if he were invisible, as if he had vanished in the thin air. Do you see him now? Friends all around us, there is me. Yet so often we choose to turn away from me rather than facing it. Why? That evening as I saw that man seated alone, cast away by society, ignored by people, I saw my own need for recognition, for acceptance, for love reflected in his eyes. Friends, perhaps you turn away because you are scared of seeing your own need. How can we change this? It is by first recognizing their humanity and then their need. The need for recognition and the cleaner who cleans day after day for minimum wage. The need for acceptance in the student who sits alone because she is different. The need for love in the homeless person begging on the street. Any spare change, mate? Any spare change, sir? What would it look like if today we walked up to them and said, how are you? What is your name? That evening I walked up to the man and asked, What is your name, sir? He said, looked at me and said, Stephen. My name is Stephen.
do you see me now? Thank you.